fall apart beef served in a lovely red wine gravy. This is serious comfort food. The whole family devours my slow cooker beef short ribs with rich gravy. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Now I love slow cooking short ribs served on the bone with a lovely layer of fat. It's gonna make that beef lovely and juicy and tender. Serve it all up with a big pile of creamy mashed potato and that lovely rich gravy. So let's get cooking. Add a tablespoon of oil to the slow cooker and heat on a high heat. Add in four meaty short ribs into the slow cooker and brown on all sides. This should take about 10 minutes. Now you can do this step in your slow cooker if it's got a searing function like mine. If it hasn't, then don't worry, you can do this step in a frying pan and then transfer into the slow cooker later. But don't be tempted to miss this step out. Searing the beef is crucial for the absolute best flavour. Once the ribs are sealed, then add in a diced onion and cook for a further two minutes while stirring. Then add in three cloves of minced garlic and heat through for a minute. Next in goes a cup or 240ml of red wine. Bring to a bubble and allow to simmer for three to four minutes. Next in goes two and three quarter cups or about 640 ml of beef stock, along with a teaspoon of dried thyme, a tablespoon of tomato puree or paste, a teaspoon of sugar, two bay leaves, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and pepper and a tablespoon of Worcester sauce. Stir everything together and bring to a simmer. Now, if you started this process on the hob, now's the time to transfer it to your slow cooker. So once you've transferred it to your slow cooker, we're gonna place the lid on and cook it on low for about six to eight hours. Now those short ribs have been cooking for about eight hours and they're lovely and tender, we're gonna make the gravy. So we're gonna use those delicious juices from the slow cooker for that gravy. Ladle out most of the juices from the slow cooker and add them to a small saucepan and heat that liquid over a high heat. We're gonna thicken the gravy with a cornflour slurry, which is made up of two tablespoons of cornflour mixed with five tablespoons of cold water. Slowly pour the mixture into the cooking liquid while stirring with a whisk until the gravy thickens. Add it in gradually as you might not need all of the cornstarch. I like to serve up these short ribs with some creamy mashed potato and green veggies, all topped off with a good drizzle of that gravy. And that's my slow cooker beef short ribs with rich gravy. Let's have a look at how tender and juicy that meat is. Mm. Oh, it's so juicy. Mm. If you love slow cooked dishes, then why not try this slow cooker beef curry next? See you over there.